Hi there folks, Black Powder Shooter 44 here. Uh, per request, uh, I'm going to be showing you, uh, or explaining to you, how you can, how to corn your black powder and how it works. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing it today. Uh, I know how it works, and, uh, well, we'll get more into why I can't, I can't just yet in a minute. Um, so, we see on the table here, uh, we'll start here. This is a Durkasa brand ceramic coffee mill. Just a cheapo coffee grinder here. And you grind your coffee beans in. And um, to make the, 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 um, the black powder that I've made so far uh, is screened. And uh, I call it the screen method, and a lot of other people do too. And uh, what that means is you wet it after it's tumbled in the mill for whatever, six, eight, ten hours. Then uh, you run it through the screen, then you have your grains and you let it sit and you let it dry. And uh, that works, but that's very light, because at the factory they don't do it like that. Uh, so basically, to make it so you can measure it by volume instead of weight, uh, is you have to compress the powder down, and then uh, so it it takes up all the airspace out and um, you just have this to, it's just as good as store bought powder it really is so the way you see here is a puck die this is made by a fella who goes by the username of fly on a few forums uh, cast bullets um, gunslingersgulch.com he's on those forums and uh, he, they run it right around uh, 30 bucks for this puck die and um, how it works is to compress the powder, you take about, it gave me instructions with this and I forgot what it was. I've done it once, but uh, it's just a tablespoon or a couple teaspoons or a couple tablespoons, something like that, of powder. Basically, you put it in, put it in here. Let me get this rearranged so you can see what's happening. So you put the, basically you put the powder in there, then you take this uh, piston deal here you put it in and it rests down on the powder. Now, you need to compress that and you need um, 1800 PSI. So, uh, you need something that will compress with 1800 PSI. And what you do that with is with a, uh, a shop press. You pick those up at Harbor Freight uh, that have all different sizes. You can use the tabletop 6 ton one, which I don't have at the time. That's why I can't make this powder uh, like this right yet. Uh, but I need to get one of those and uh, we could give this a go, but uh, basically put it in the shot press and that has a, it's a six ton press so it has enough compression to to press down press down your puck then you uh, flip it over and you have your puck in there you bang it out and you have basically it just looks like a like a it's a puck like a hockey puck sort of if you think of it like that and uh let it dry for a while. It should be pretty hard. Um, then what you do is you break up that uh, that um, puck. And this is when your coffee grinder comes into play. You put the remains, the chunks in here. You grind it. You um, break it with a hammer or whatever. Uh, then you put it in here and you figure out the grain size that you want to adjust the teeth to to get like 2FG or triple FG whatever and uh, then you grind it down and once you do that and it goes in it collects in here and uh, once you do that once you compress uh, you uh, grind up all your pucks you run it through your screen again like with the sifted method so then you run it through your screen for size and then you're good to go now um, the, mo the problems I ran into was first I tried using an arbor press and it wasn't really giving me enough compression I don't think um, it has 200, or I'm sorry, 2,000 psi of compression. So, and that is that should be enough. But uh, I didn't have it screwed into a, a sturdy table or anything, so it didn't give me the compression I needed. It gave me pucks, but they were easy to break. So I don't think that was good enough. Uh, had enough compression, so you could probably use that. But for like 20 bucks more, you could pick up a shop press, which to run about. Uh, what, 80, 90 bucks, and then you have the 20% card, coupon, Barbara Freight, and it costs less. So, 
hope this makes sense and um, I give it a try and uh, I would like to give this a try sometime um, I mean I have with the as I said with the Arbor Press but in uh, another way you could compress it I forgot um, is with a floor jack under like uh, under a truck or something and I haven't tried that way but I should give it a try just to see um, to see what happens and uh, you can press it under and uh, then you break up the pucks and grind it and you have your powder so uh, give it a try uh, these are when I bought it was uh, with shipping it's comes out to around 30 bucks uh, and he also sells black willow charcoal and that's almost impossible to find nowadays so uh, it's an airflow which burns more dirtier and is just a mess the black willow charcoal is what you want even though the airflow works you want to use black willow if you can so he sells that he makes it himself and he sells that so you can get some of that as well for making your own powder thanks so, for watching give this folks. a try yeah. and um, take care and have a good day